Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another install tutorial, this time on Legacy Fabric, specifically the 189 version. So, pretty much the point of this is showing the installers, how you install them for both launches, and also to pretty much mention that uh, don't expect anything crazy, like, uh, you know, fabric mods to come back, or forge mods ported over, or this, that, and the other. For the most part, there is a few available um, that are found here on Curse Forge and GitHub, which you can easily access. Um, so, for example, you've got Craft Presence for 189, you've got Fabric Discord for 189, you've got um, Chroma HUD, you've got an old block animation, uh, breaking animation type one, and you've got a TMI voxel get like mod at the moment. Um, obviously, there's not like you know tons of stuff available because it still is pretty early and pretty sure. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I'm just gonna be showing how you install these. I've got a video on that showing in that how the others work, just to show in that like their current state, um, what's crashed, what actually does work, what I actually could understand getting from what's available. Um, in the mod, or just what's shown in the Legacy Fabric sort of Discord, which is where obviously where I've got most of this stuff from. And I'm only just doing this for the sake of testing, because um, I was curious, and also as well just to show it off for those probably interested in just trying it out, and then, um, you know, maybe giving feedback, or um, just sort of checking out of curiosity or something. But uh, yeah, just don't expect high things to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll be doing both installation tutorials in this video. So the vanilla and multi MC, and we'll start with the vanilla one. So for the vanilla one, you'll pretty much just want to use the installer, which is pretty much exactly the same like the newer versions one. So you've got one eight nine, you've got the build, and you've got where you want to install it. The create profile tick box, and you've got the ready to install button. You just hit that and then it'll do that for you. From there obviously you'll get this here, you can put your mods into your mods folder and I have actually tested putting it into a separate one um, just like with 112.2 and before Forge and obviously it doesn't support that here and neither does Fabric itself anyways so yeah for those who are curious and thinking oh okay that might work, no. Um, and obviously this is all the files that I've got there. I'm gonna, uh, I don't have running currently but uh, of the mods and that uh, that's what we'll be looking at. So we've got our logs currently, we'll just wait for the other to appear. That should be fine. Alright, and there we go. So my mod menu is just the mods, I've also got my save here for testing stuff. And let's we'll see what happens. So, I've got the breaking animation, which I assume I do have set up, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Find out in the other instance, of course. Surely enough items is working now, so it's not crashing, because clearly I've moved out the other mods that would have it crash. Um, so we can just use the arrow keys to navigate here, we can cheat stuff in, no problem. We can't put stuff back into the menu, of course, because um, that doesn't exist yet. There's no recipes or R or U keys or this and the other. It's just a thing you cheat in and see what's pretty much available in the game. So there's that. Um, so that's pretty much the vanilla installation there. It's just the window, set it up on the location, you've got it here, and then you're good to go. Now for MultiMC of course, which is a completely different launcher, and for those that are watching obviously don't get confused between the two, obviously separate launcher, not related at all. Um, so for MultiMC, pretty much what you want to do is uh, just import the zip. So you create instance, you import, and you're good to go. And I've already done that. So yeah, we'll just load this up and see what happens. And this one I've more been looking into manipulating mods because it was quite easy to use. Um, so surely enough items is there, fabric discord links there. Um, I'll just swap stuff in and out so you can get an idea, even though I do have a testing specific video anyways. Um, but we'll just show it working. Okay. And here we go. So I've got it presented here, like so. I'm good to go. So just put in the other stuff. And obviously, if I show you something like craft presence, for example, 
Um, that I'm pretty sure works. Chroma HUDs can work alongside sure enough items, but most of the time sure enough items is crashing every time it's uh, included. Um, you'll probably find that in the other video because I'm pretty sure I still have that visible. Um, and the block breaking animation I think also works, but I don't remember. And we'll test, of course. Just real quick, even with the other video existing for that purpose. But, uh, you know, just to sort of briefly show what you can expect when you initially put them in, for the most part. So, uh, here we go. I'm pretty sure it'll just... I think it'll crash, even though... Yep, so craft presence with grave is not... Oh, it's coming up. There we go. So we can access that, so that's fine. Press it, it's fine. So it seems to just be Chroma HUD that it crashes with, um, rather than the others. And the breaking animation, I think, is pretty much the same. Um, for the most part, I think... I mean, there probably is a difference, it's just I'm not. Just do it for the breaking animation comparison. I can make so yeah otherwise though that's pretty much it for both tutorials um obviously i got the other video showing in that more deeper the testing of how things work but uh yeah thanks so much for watching and goodbye